What is the a priori prior probability of psychophysical harmony? Well, here's one way to estimate it. First, we look at how many different a priori epistemically possible psychophysical laws there are. Well, there are a ton. Take any epistemically possible physical event, like a sea fiber firing, two water molecules colliding, and so on. Then, take any epistemically possible quail, like the smell of cheese or whatever cuttlefish experience when they see ultraviolet light. Then connect these together and bam, you get a new epistemically possible psychophysical law. It's impossible to actually number these, but you get the point, there are a lot. Now, one combination of these psychophysical laws is going to end up accurately reflecting reality. And using the principle of indifference, we can conclude that any combination of these psychophysical laws is a priori equally probable, because we don't have any a priori reason to expect one combination rather than another. Since there are so many psychophysical laws, there is an unimaginably large number of combinations of psychophysical laws. And since each combination gets the same prior probability, each combination of psychophysical laws gets an unimaginably tiny prior probability. Now, psychophysical harmony occurs when you get a specific kind of combination of psychophysical laws. For example, when sea fibers fire, you need this to be connected to something negative, like pain. Not something like the color purple, or the taste of strawberries, or the feeling of sandpaper. No, it has to be something specifically pain-like, or else our experience of the world would be disharmonious. And this is true for tons of our experiences. We need really specific kinds of psychophysical laws. So we need to get a very specific kind of combination of psychophysical laws out of the vast number of different combinations. So the a priori prior probability of psychophysical harmony is unimaginably small. To put it another way, the fact that when we stub our toes, we actually feel pain, you know, something that makes sense, is super duper weird. A priori, we should expect our mental lives to be utterly incoherent.